I'm anxious to uh, just kind of get your opinions on how 2015 has shaped and or changed your investing outlook. I'll give you the baton on this one to lead. Oh, boy. Um I had been. You're bloodied. You're bruised. I'm quite bloody. I'm quite <laughs> bruised. I I certainly made my fair share of mistakes, I've, um, and I, the one thing that I think the the biggest and most important thing that I, I had been leaning towards in 2015, but totally confirmed it here, was the idea of if I ever hear an executive in the indus, energy energy industry ever again say. We will grow into our debt load. I, run. I am going to run away run for the as, as fast as I possibly can. I, I think it's a good one. We, we got enamored with companies saying they can grow. They'll be able to, you know, build, you know, kind of grow into that debt because they're going to take it on and they're going to it's cheap expand. Financing. It's cheap. Can you so, give us examples of people that actually said those words? Uh, um, I believe let's. I'm trying to think of a couple examples. Uh, Whiting Petroleum. They bought Kodiak Oil and Gas. I and think they it was literally begged the entire industry, please, somebody buy us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and couldn't and couldn't get a decent price. But they didn't. Yeah, they didn't even get a bid. They didn't even and get a crappy bid. Just didn't, happened to get some cheap financing to make things go through. And, and there was just these, so many companies that just levered themselves out the nose to to grow into the shale basin shale play and thinking that it was going to be this completely transformative thing like America can become energy independent we're still part of the global marketplace and as as fast as we grew um, there is only so much demand globally that can be accommodated and you know some places are going to lose some places are gained but we can't gain as much as we thought um, could be added to the market the way that we did and to say that you can grow at these sort of levels and just take on debt and not finance yourself with conservative smart capital allocation using cash flows things like that it i i know it seems reflective think saying it now but it, it just shows how important so just basic good business practices cool taylor just one thing he said energy independence and i think it's even funnier now that we're going to export oil because they say that we might import more oil than we currently are just because we're going to export it just a little funny anecdote about Becoming energy, we could be energy independent, but we never will because we're always going to sell oil. We're all right. connected by yeah, the circle all, of life. Exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> Kumbaya in Kumbaya. the energy industry. Um, so my, I guess, reflection is uh, the importance of diversification in your portfolio. Deep uh, and deep. buying silver Wheaton. and buying silver Wheaton. <laughs> no, um, there are tremendous businesses in the energy industry. But you're still part of the energy industry. So even though you're investing in good businesses, do not only stick to one industry. Um, and I think this proves why. Like you can find the best business in an industry, but it can still suffer right along with it. So cool. Yeah. Thank you for your thoughts. Yeah, what about you, Sean? I mean, you're an investor pretty basic, too. Pretty basic thoughts, but I mean, it's like. Basic thoughts are put sometimes, on a pedestal when sometimes you need to get hit over the head yeah. with a hammer really, really hard to remember to go back yeah. to the basics. Especially when the investing. market is performing very well. Well, I started my career at the Fool in September 2013, and I started in consumer goods and tech. And then, I don't know, eight months ago, I pivoted over to energy and industrials. And even before that, I had been asking you because like, the carnage in the oil industry has started last November mm -hmm. was just. It hasn't gotten any better. No, it's gotten worse. Um, well, and that's welcome that. to the energy it, industry, by the way. After yeah. Eight months of just perpetual decline. It's just been like, yay. Um, no, just uh, it can get way worse before it gets better. As evidenced by your energy draft picks. Hey, now. Oil's going up from here. I we mean, can't it can't all, get any worse. We can't but all get bailed out by the U.S. Congress, I, I think. I think we need... I would love to go back to the um, to the September thing, because I do believe those were the words that you said. Like, we got to be somewhere near the bottom here, guys, right?